Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review of Almost Grace by Rosie Morrell. Now I sent this book by Hotkey Books in exchange for a honest review, so thank you very much to Hotkey Books for sending me this book. This book follows a girl named Grace who lives in South Africa. After you finish your exams in high school, you go away with your friends and you have like a week away. So that's what Grace does with her friends and they go to this little town along the beach. Now Grace is happy to go away because right now her relationship with her mother isn't the greatest because Grace has an eating disorder and her mum has been pushing her to eat and talking about sending her away to a place that will help with that and Grace just wants to hear none of it. So Grace is happy to escape. Her best friend Louisa is also struggling with what she wants to do after high school. She wants to do uni but the course that she wants to do doesn't really fit in with what her parents want her to do. Grace has also come away from a really tough relationship that I don't want to get into because spoilers but I guess she's happy to get away from all of it and to escape with her friends. And then so on the first night in this U town for the week away she meets a guy named Spook and Spook and her have a a one night stand. Spook's lifestyle is very carefree and relaxed, much unlike Grace's, and Grace finds herself starting to fall for Spook. However, it seems that Spook might not be as relaxed and calm as we thought. So that's the plot of this book. Now, I have very, very mixed feelings about this book. Number one, Grace is 18. I don't think she's definitely older than 18. She may be younger than 18, but I think she is 18 and Spook, the guy that she meets with and has a one night stand with, is 35. And then they continue to have this sort of on and off relationship throughout the book. And for me, it's very weird. And I just can't get past the fact that Spook is 35 where Grace is 18. Another thing is sometimes this book would go back into flashbacks. And at times they were done well and it was clear that we were going back into a flashback. But at other times it was just out of the blue and it took me a moment to realize, well, hang on, this is in the past. And that's why it's not making sense of where we were in the story. Because this book is set in South Africa, sometimes they use language that is set in South Africa. And so they have these things down the bottom which explain what they mean. And while I liked that, I also found it distracting and sometimes it took away from the story. However, I could totally see why they did do that in like terms of, you know, seeing what it meant. This book towards the end of it had a lot going on and then suddenly it just wrapped up all nice and neatly very quickly at the end of this book. The ending just came out of nowhere and it was so nicely presented that I just was thrown back by it. At some points I did enjoy Grace's characters and her friends and at other points I didn't. At some points I also felt myself kind of starting to get into this book and then something would bring me back whether it's the relationship with Spook or something else and I just I couldn't find myself really enjoying this book unfortunately and it's for that reason I'm giving it a two out of five stars. It was okay but personally I don't think this book was for me. So let me know in the comments below if you have read this book and what you thought of it and like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!